Hey you guys, it's Talia and welcome back to my channel. So, it is time for another grocery haul. It is after Thanksgiving. It's time to get my life right. So, I'm going to start actually with a quick story time. So, if you don't want to listen, then just fast forward um, a little bit. So, I went to the doctor last week and when uh, I went, they checked, they saw that I had elevated blood pressure, high, what is it, blood pressure, yeah, it actually runs in my family, so I am, you know, trying to get a handle on that before it escalates to anything uh, super serious, and just because I know, like, it's in my family, I'm not going to make an excuse and be like, oh, well, it's just that I know that my diet probably isn't the best it is it needs to be. So this is what this haul pretty much is for and about. Um, so I'm doing that. And then I have some other blood work that they're running to check on some other things. So uh, I guess I'll update you guys. If you guys want to know, let me know down below if you guys want to know. But this is what I picked up from Sprouts. Um, it was $99. And to me, it seems like quite a bit. If you compare it to my Whole Foods haul, um, that, what did I pay, $78 for like 10 things? Yeah, this was $99. So we got meat, we got some veggies and stuff like that. So I'll just hop into video and a lot of stuff you'll see is what I researched and they said is good for helping with blood pressure and stuff like that and overall just eating a healthier diet. So let's start. First things first, I picked up whole bunch of chicken as you guys know I only like chicken <laughs> so I picked up two packs of this chicken breast stir fry and then I just picked up some of the chicken tenderloins the chicken breasts that they had they didn't have any that were thinly sliced which are my fave they just had the huge they were like this big I was like no I'm gonna accidentally undercook it so there's that picked up some of these crunchy chickpeas in chipotle I picked up something similar to this from Whole Foods, except I think it's like barbecue flavored. It's not a fan. So I'm going to try these and see if these are any better. I figured these were a little bit better to snack on. Then I picked some of these Terra Sweets and Beets. Uh, they're real vegetable chips. They're no salt added. One of the things was beets. I've never had beets, so I figured, hmm, I like chips. Let's try them in chip form. Um, so we'll see. I've never actually tried this, but I've heard a lot of people say that these are really good. Now, maybe they got the kind with salt, so we'll see. But I'm excited to try those out. And then I picked up two of the Taylor Farms Mediterranean Crunch Chopped Salad Kits. These are the ones that we buy from Costco. Of course, these are just like mini size, so I got two of them. These are our favorites. This, uh, I'm obsessed obsessed and since the whole romaine lettuce and everything nowadays has e coli this is what was safe so picked that up picked up two things of blueberries i picked up a baby spinach and baby butter mix to make some salads for lunch oh what am i gonna put on them we'll figure that out i picked these up these are Rec always recommended by Shelly from Shelly's Home Life. She likes the Lily's brand, so I decided to pick the dark chocolate up. They said dark chocolate was part of a good balanced diet for people on trying to do low sodium. So I'm gonna run with it. This is a chocolate. Um, so I just picked the picked up the almond dark chocolate and the oh extremely dark. I don't really like dark chocolate. Oh well. Um, extremely dark chocolate. I picked up two of the no salt added pinto beans just in the sprouts brand. No salt added marinara. And I'm just gonna like, I'm still trying to figure out how to, you know, pizzazz things up for like the no sodium stuff. Because personally, I don't like adding salt to things, but I know a lot of stuff already comes salted. So I gotta get creative with some herbs and spices so leave some recommendations down below if you guys have any um i also like sweet stuff so i picked up these fruit leathers they don't have any sodium in them so you know just picked some up i got some grape what is this apricot cherry strawberry um i picked up some more tea this is just green tea and hibiscus so there's that 
I'm gonna try this one. It's called the Boo. It's kombucha and honeydew. So I really thought it was just honeydew juice. <laughs> we'll see if I even like it. I'm not the biggest fan of kombucha, so if it tastes like kombucha, I'll give that to Henry because he likes that. I picked up two green juices. I love Arden's Garden, so I just picked up two of the Yoga One. I also picked up one of the Santa Cruz um, Organic Agua Fresca, and this is just in pomegranate. Apparently pomegranate's good for that, uh, for blood pressure, so I picked that up. All right, now into the vegetables, y'all. Well, that's not a vegetable. Fruits and vegetables. We have some bananas. We have a, this looks like an English cucumber. What is this thing called? Doesn't say. This is a cucumber. Two avocados, one bell pepper, a white onion. I picked some more of these mandarins. Picked up some mandarins. I also got a, oh, look, it's already sprouting a little friend. A sweet potato. I picked up some of this organic red lentil penne. We bought some of the banza, I think that's what it's called. Oh, I mean, it's okay. Maybe I need to cook it longer than normal time because it's a little bit chewy. So I'm gonna try that out. And then the last thing I picked up, you guys, these are my favorite. This is my favorite new flavor, I should say. But Think Thin, I love these. It's 150 calories. It's low, pretty low in um, salt. But I like having these for a snack, just, you know, if you're on the go, but you don't really need to eat or you're trying to wait till you get home or something like that. Um, this is just an overall really good snack. They had a sale for the individual ones, but it was just cheaper to end up buying the, the box. So that's what I went ahead and did. And does that not look delicious, y'all? Oh, anyways, before I start eating this, that is everything I got from Sprouts. It was $99 and some change. So I think this is a lot better than Whole Foods, like I said. So I'm excited. If you guys have any recipes for like low sodium stuff, leave them down below. I'm not the best when it comes to recipes. I get very, very overwhelmed. So this is something that's gonna be ongoing, trying to, you know, eat better. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.